welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing that how to use the iron bootable usb for the data recovery and for resetting the windows password so recently i created a video that how you can create a multi-bootable usb that include your iron windows 10 11 linux using the ventoy but many people made a comment that i should explain them that how exactly you have to use the iron bootable usb so if you're not aware that what exactly iron bootable usb is so it's a multi boot cd or usb image that can be used to perform a variety of diagnostic functions on almost any operating system it can help with issues like hard drive failure virus infection password and data recovery and other operation on your pc now in order to create a iron bootable usb either you can go with the ventoy for which i have already created a video that is a multi bootable usb and other option is that you can create the iron bootable usb using the rufus website so what you will have to do bring up any of your browser and then you will have to come to this website of rufus here you have to scroll down a bit click on rufus 4.3.exe and it will be quickly downloaded now once you get downloaded click on the downloaded file click on yes and this will bring up this kind of simple page where it will automatically detect any kind of pen drive connected to your computer so make sure that your pen drive is connected that you want to make iron bootable usb and from the drop down make sure that the right usb has been selected now next it's asking for the boot selection so in order to download the iso of iron you will have to come to this website the link again will be in the description and here you have to scroll down and in the file name it says hbcdp.x64.iso so click on it download it i've already downloaded so once it get downloaded you have to click on select and then you have to navigate to the location where you have downloaded the iron bootable usb so here i have i will select it and then click on open once you select it everything else will be selected now if you want to change the volume label you can change it or you can also keep it to hbcd and then simply you have to click on start and it will give you a warning message that all the data on the pen drive will be wiped out so make sure that you don't have any data and if you have then take the data back first and then you proceed with this step so click on ok and the process will now be quickly started so wait for some time here until it's all been done Alright guys, so finally the iron bootable USB has been created and it's ready to use now. So now let's say that if you are on a computer on Windows 11 or 10 where you have forgotten your password and you don't remember it. So what you can do, you can plug in that iron bootable USB to this computer where you have forgotten the password. And then from your keyboard, you need to press and hold the shift key. And while holding the shift key, click on this power icon that is on the right hand corner. And while holding the shift only click on restart and click restart anyway and you will be getting this please wait screen so now you can leave the shift key and this computer will now be loading up in the advanced option and then finally you will be coming to this kind of blue screen with some advanced option now once you come up here you have to click on troubleshoot click on advanced option and now here you have to click on ufi firmware settings so that we can go to the bios and change the boot priority order and boot through the iron bootable usb so click on ufi firmware setting click on restart and now your computer will be restarting in the bios now depending on your manufacturer you might find different kind of bios screen so you will have to look for the boot priority order or the boot sequence and you have to boot from the usb device of iron bootable usb I'm using a virtual machine here so I will select USB device and hit the enter key and now you will find this kind of a screen that says loading file so the iron bootable USB is now detected and now it's working so it may take some time to load the file so you will have to wait okay now finally we are inside the iron bootable USB and it looks very similar to Windows 10 now what you have to do in order to reset the Windows password you need to click on the windows icon click on all programs and there you have to click on security and then you will find the password folder double click on it and here you will find windows login unlocker 
you can also use the other uh, password recovery option but we will go with this one that is the most convenient so click on windows login unlocker and now this will list you all kind of user account that has been created now on the user account that we are stuck and we forgot the password is the work user account so i will simply select it and then you have to click on reset unlock that is on the right hand corner and click on ok and it will take some time so you have to wait here until it's all been done and once it will be done it says password reset successfully okay so now we can click on ok and then we can close it and now you have to normally boot with your windows 11 or windows 10 whichever you are using so just go ahead and click on restart okay so the windows login screen came up again and now this time you can see i have the same user account but it's not asking me for the password and if i click on sign in so it will directly take me to the desktop and it will not be asking me for any kind of password and this is really easy for the people who keep forgetting the password and if nothing is working for you try this option this is the best and the hundred percent working method that you can try now let's see that if you want to recover any kind of data if your windows has been crashed you are not able to access your windows drive then what you can do so again you will have to connect the iron bootable usb once you have connected the usb restart the computer in the bios mode so that you can change the boot priority order select the iron bootable usb and hit the enter key so that it can boot with the iron bootable usb so again it will be loading file so you will have to wait until we see the iron desktop okay so again we are in the iron desktop now and as i said that if your windows has been crashed you are not able to access your windows drive then what you can do from here only you can click on this pc that is on your desktop and you will find all your drive over here simply you will have to click on it and whichever data you want to take the data backup you can simply copy that and paste into any other kind of external device or the usb device right this way you can take the data backup that you already have on your computer now next in case your data has been deleted then what you can do you can click on the windows icon then click on all programs and here you have to click on hard disk tools and then click on data recovery so now here you will find all kind of free data recovery software that is available to use so whichever you want to go with like personally i like the recover so i click on recover and then you have to click on next it will ask you to download the latest version so if you want to download it click on yes and here you have to select that what kind of files you want to recover like pictures document video or email if you're not sure and you have the mixed data then you can also go with the all file option then you have to click on next and then it will ask you where exactly you had your deleted file so in the recycle bin in your document even if you're not sure then you can keep this selected to i'm not sure but if you think that the item has been deleted from the recycle bin then you can choose this option click on next again and click on start and then it will be detecting all the deleted data from your recycle bin and restore it back okay so this is the free tool that will be helping you to recover the data or any kind of files so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye